All this pain in my eyes, I'm feeling sorrow. Yeah, hope I don't wake up tomorrow. Niggas ain't care if I was down bad. Yeah, they ain't care if I was down below. Yeah, see, I was tripping. Yeah, stress myself like an extension. But they don't wanna see me win. We back with another episode of the Will You Wear show. We gonna jump right into it. Go ahead and, and yeah, introduce yourself. Let them know what part of Baltimore we in. What's up, yo? It's your man, it's Keaton Young. You already know where we at. We're on Deacon Land, over the east. You already know. Listen, right. man. We was at a party, me and you. This was a, probably a couple months ago. Yeah, probably like back in like, no, no, no. Probably like November, no, December. You, you performed the song. And once I heard it, I said, damn, he got it, man. So we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to, like, where where your, uh, your love for music come from? Like, where did that start at? I mean, I'm not even really lie. It probably started when I was, like, seven or eight. Like, I just started just singing. Like, yeah. And I said, fuck it. I mean, I was always good with words and wordplay. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to just, you know, put that shit together. And it just so happens that it came out like boom, boom. Oh, this nigga, he he really good with it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so you I, had you knew you had a voice at, at eight eight years old? No, not necessarily. I mean, I was singing like this is this is really how people realize I could sing. I was like what maybe in like third or fourth grade. I was singing in the cafeteria. And this girl, she walked past me. She was like, ooh, you can sing. And I was like, thanks. But I wasn't really singing. You feel what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, thanks. You know, like, it wasn't, it wasn't just, oh, she said, I can sing. You already know what's up. Oh, yeah, I'm finna just, yeah, I'm finna brag about it. No, it was just, oh, I can sing. Thanks, I guess. Yeah. So the way the song, when, when you was performing the song, the way the song was structured, it was like, you, you know how to make a song, bro. You feel me? Like, you know how to put it together. So, like, what, you, you got help doing that? Or the, all, all that come natural? Nah, I mean, it, it all depends on how I'm feeling. Like, every single song that I write is based on how I'm feeling. Like, I, I ain't really lie to you. I got I'm bipolar. I got anger issues. I got post-traumatic stress disorder. And I suffer from schizophrenia. So, every, like... I can go from this emotion to this one, to this one, to this one in a matter of like, what, five seconds? I can be happy, and I can be pissed. We can be cool one minute, and I'm like, oh, fuck you. It's like that, I got you. Like, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like. So would you say your music is like therapy? I mean, it's kind, it's something like that, but at the same time, it's not. To be honest, I don't even write music for myself anymore. I write music for other people like that can relate to it like you feel what I'm saying and like this this my model now I, I say it like this because I really mean it all my music is for the misunderstood I want people to understand the misunderstood you feel what I'm saying like everybody who ain't like been like been through it like been through it like you feel what I'm saying like I want everybody to experience how it feels like I want that shit to hit you you feel what I'm saying like that's why when I take my like when I write my songs I take my time so I can like put it all in. Like no song, like every song that I got, I never go halfway. I always go all in, even if I don't finish the song. I just fuck. I will freestyle on the beat until something come up, and I just record. Now you know you was in a, a a little situation that went viral. You feel me? Like, but this is something that a lot of kids, you know, deal with in school. Like, if you're gonna be around people, period, you're gonna have differences and. It could either go left, it could either go right. Yeah, I feel but you went you was in a situation that went viral, but the way you reacted to it was was outstanding, bro. And like tell the people like what came from that. I mean, me personally, like to be honest, I really didn't give a fuck about the situation. Because at that time I was taking the shit over. Like I didn't really lie to you. Yeah. Like it was so much shit going on at that time. When that video just fucking skyrocketed, I was like, and everybody would see me in public, be like, oh my god, is you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, but to be honest, that shit, that shit started to get annoying. I can't really lie to you. They were like, oh my god, like, every 
was talking about one of my friends and we went with somebody. They went, oh my god, hey, that's the that's the boy from Instagram. Like, Alright, well let's talk about the good that came from it, because we you know a lot of so and so called celebrities reached out to you and stuff like that. You feel me? Let's talk about the good that came from it. I mean, yeah, like it was hella good that came from it. Like, um, I got to, I got to talk to Tristan J. I got to talk to President Davo. I had connections with Young Moose. Um, a couple like high high industry rappers they hit me up. Young Bands even joined my vibe at one point. I was really shit myself. I was like, oh shit, this nigga Young Bands on my vibe. And yeah. Other than that, it's not really nothing else to put. You know what I'm saying? It's really nothing else to put. Alright, so what you working on right now? You got projects coming? Yeah, I just dropped one on my Instagram. Like, like it's it's not even like fully mixed, but it's like a rough mix now. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I tried, like, this, this is like, it's in the middle between like being hurt, but not being hurt. It's like something that everybody can listen to. You feel what I'm saying? It's not just one of them songs will be like, oh, this nigga's just fucking depressing. So you just working on singles right now? You ain't dropping the whole project? Probably like in the next few months. Like my album, TRLC, is is right. I'm working on it. That's it. You cooking up? You cooking up? All right. Well, what advice can you give up and coming artists, people that? suffer from bipolar and you schizophrenic like what type of advice can you get them for them to help cope i mean for the for the people that's like that like music and stuff my best advice to y'all is probably to just go for it don't let nobody tell you different don't let nobody push you out your lane like you just gotta stick with that shit because I'm not even really lie. I wanted to give up on music so many times, like other times. I just said fuck it. Until I realized, like a lot of people told me, like they listen to my music, like that helped them get through stuff. I'd be like, wow. Like so, you really never know, like what could help somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? Now, as for the people that suffer from like bipolarness, schizophrenia, and all that, my best advice for you is just. I wouldn't really necessarily say hide it from the world, but just be yourself at this point. Like, it's not a whole lot that you can do to save that or, or like, stop it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and, yeah, that's that's pretty much about it. Just be yourself. Uh, well, you know, this is the way you at, show. So where, where do you see yourself at next year, two years from now, five years from now? I mean... Next year, I probably, hopefully, like, I put this on my mother's like, hopefully, I probably be like, just a little bit more up there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, maybe a couple shows, and like maybe have some money in my pocket. You feel what I'm saying? Now, probably like as in the next five years, I probably see myself doing big numbers up there if I keep working with myself and if I keep positive people around. And that's another thing. Always keep positive people around you, you feel what I'm saying? You can't never let no negativity come in front of you. And, that, and that's that's really it, to be honest. All right, man, you heard it from my man, man, my little bro, man. Leave him with your socials and all that. Oh, you can follow me on Instagram at Key the Youngin. It's the one with 33,000 followers on it. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not the one with 850. Something. You can follow that one too, because that's my background page, but I forgot the password. And um, my Twitter is Keita Youngin. Um, what else? My Snapchat is, I think it's Keita Youngin. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. Until next time. Where you at, so? All this pain in my eyes, I'm feeling sorrow. Yeah, hope I don't wake up tomorrow. Niggas ain't care if I was down bad.